with guys off the field, just believing each other on the field and correcting, even correcting each other on the field, the little criticism things, just, it's just being beneficial to the team. What stands out about Tyler Van Dyke and the skill set he provides to keep you guys from the back? I think his knowledge and his accuracy. There's sometimes in zones, like I'm trying to get underneath and he just throws it right over my head to the point where I can't get her. And maybe even in man, I think today I had a rep with CJ Williams and even the other day with Bryson Green. I might be on the inside, but he might throw it right to the outside where only the receiver will get it or it'll go out of bounds. It's just little things like that just is very impressive to me. Travis, I'm sure you've already been asked about the added weight and what it means for you. What, what does it mean? On the field for you. Yeah, adding weight and everything. I just think it. I just think it helps a lot with little things like my technique and my breaks. Going against bigger receivers, as I stated before, like Bryson Green, guys that are very physical at the at the top of their routes, things like that. Just it's very beneficial, and also my speed, just making my legs stronger and everything to keep up with these type of guys. Have you ever been running as fast as, as you've been running? Never, right never, never, <laughs> never. I've definitely got so much faster since I got here. In the zero. You like to play with a lot of confidence. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody like a, a, an ex-teammate or a coach, somebody that has, has instilled that confidence in you to reach levels that you never figured you'd reach before? Absolutely. I would say back in high school, one of, his name is Coach Wood. This is a while ago, but Coach Wood is Coach Wood. That's my guy to this day. I still talk to him. He definitely instilled that in me, just next play mentality. And also even uh, some of my old, old players, some of my old teammates, and, and even here, for sure. What stands out about Xavier Lucas for you? Uh, I was just saying that you obviously look at his frame, like it's crazy in the way he moves. It's just insane. He's so fast, twitchy, and so confident. That's, that's the thing that strikes me the most about him as a freshman is how confident he came into camp and the way he just sits in it, sits in his press technique. It's amazing. He's gonna be a, he's gonna be a star for us one day. For when sure. you look at the defense as a whole, uh, what strikes you as different compared to last year? I think um, that. I think the depth is very, very different than last year. I think at all positions we have multiple guys that can come in off the bench that can keep us fresh throughout the entire season, throughout the entire game, close game. So I think that is definitely the biggest thing. Coach Haynes kind of mentioned that you felt like you were wearing down last season. What, what changes did you just make in the off season to get your conditioning up and be ready to go through an entire Big Ten season? Yeah, uh, obviously the added my weight. Um, just running more often, and even when I was tired, like after a lift, just try and run a little bit, get get different, di sorry, different DB workouts in with the other guys, and just try and condition more so like field field type of things, like corner cornerback reps while I'm tired type of things like that. How hard was it just to get maybe get through those last couple games last season? Do you remember kind of what you were feeling at all? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Every every one of almost every day, of my legs were pretty pretty uh, dead. I also was fighting an uh, ankle injury. I got injured in the Rutgers game. I missed the Iowa game for that. So that nagged me a little bit throughout the entire season. It wasn't too bad at the end of the season, but definitely played a little bit of a run. There was obviously a lot of investment by the coaches in the pass rush this offseason, getting some new guys. Just What does that do for you guys as corners, thinking that maybe we don't have to blitz quite as much yeah. to get pressure and things like that? Yeah, it's just, it's just, I think it adds to the confidence that we have that we can just sit in there and, and trust that the, the front is going to do their job and get pressure on the quarterback to make it easier for us, be able to look back for the ball and everything to make plays on the ball.